Assalamu alaikum. Malaikum salam. It's a greeting, an Arabic greeting, often used by Muslims around the world. It literally means what is close to peace be unto you. But it's considered equivalent to hello or good day in English. So, assalamu alaikum. Hello. Um, wanted to um, share some thoughts about Islam, all from Wikipedia. <laughs> uh, so, the uh, they got 2005 numbers here uh, about the major world religions. Christianity represents 33 percent. Muslims represent 20 percent. Hindus is 13 percent. Chinese Universist is six percent Buddhist or six percent ethno religious it's four percent neo religious six Jews spiritualist Baha'ist Confucianist Jains Shintoist Taoist Zoroastrians other religionists non religious is twelve percent atheist is two percent all those ones that I read you know quickly were under one percent um, so Confucianist is like 10%, 0.1%. So Muslim is the number two religion with 20%. Christianity is number one. Muslim is uh, number two with 20%. Hindus is 12. Uh, Non-religious is 12%. So Jewish religion was 0.23%. So very, very small. Uh, portion of the world's population is Jewish, uh, but Islam is the second, the world's second most popular religion. And Islam is a monotheistic and Abrahamic religion articulated by the Quran, which is a text considered by its adherents to be the verbatim word of God or Allah in Arabic. And by the teachings and normative example called the Sunnah and composed of the Hiddath of Muhammad, uh, considered by them to be the last prophet of God. An adherent of Islam is called a Muslim. So Abrahamic religion, uh, those are your, that's Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Uh, Judaism regards itself as a religion of the descendants of Jacob, a grandson of Abraham. It's a strictly unitary view of God in the central holy book for almost all branches is the Masoretic text as elucidated in the oral Torah. So, uh, all Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are all Abrahamic faiths. Islam, let's see, uh, Muslims believe that God is one and incomparable and the purpose of existence is to love and serve God. Muslims also believe that Islam is the complete and universal version of a primordial faith that was revealed at many times and places before, including through Abraham, Moses, and Jesus, whom Muslims consider prophets. They maintain that previous messages and revelations have been partially changed or corrupted over time, but consider the Quran to be both the unaltered and final uh, revelation of God. Religious concepts and practices include the five pillars of Islam, which are the basic concepts and obligatory acts of worship following Islamic law, which touches on virtually every aspect of life and society providing guidance on multifarious topics from banking and welfare to warfare and the envi environment. The majority of Muslims are Sunni, being 70 to 90 percent of all Muslims. The second sect, Shia, makes up 10 to 20 percent. Sunni Muslims are considered the orthodox uh, version of the religion. Sunni Muslims are referred to as, in Arabic, as I'll, I ain't going to try that. Alusnadi wa Jamal. <laughs> People of the tradition of Muhammad and the consists of the Ummah. So there's Sunni Muslims uh, and then there's Shia Muslims. So there's two different kinds. And the difference, main difference is that they, uh, 
in, in like 500 years ago there's one one person says that they were the true word of uh, Islam carried on by Muhammad and someone else said that they were uh, even though their prices are similar they still they got a beef between them the most populous Muslim majority country is Indonesia which is home to 12.7 percent of the world's Muslims followed by Pakistan 11 percent India 10.9 percent in Bangladesh 9.2 percent sizable communities are also found in China Russia and parts of Europe with over 1.5 five seven to one point six five billion followers or over twenty two to twenty four percent of earth's population so almost nearly a quarter of the world's people are Muslim Islam is the second largest and it's one of the fastest growing religions in the world so some beliefs their beliefs about God uh, Islam's most fundamental concept is a rigorous monotheism called Tawhid. God is described in chapter 112 of the Quran as, Say he is God, the one and only God, the eternal, absolute. He begotten, begetteth not, nor is he begotten, and there is none like unto him. Muslims repudiate the Christian doc doctrine of the Trinity and the divinity of Jesus, comparing it to polytheism, but accept Jesus as a prophet. In Islam, God is beyond all comprehension, and Muslims are not expected to visualize God. God is described and referred to by certain names or attributes, the most common being Al-Rahman, meaning the compassionate, and Al-Rahman, meaning the merciful. Muslims believe the creation of everything in the universe is brought into being by God's sheer command, be, and so it is so, and that the purpose of existence is to love and serve God. He is viewed as a personal God who responds whenever a person in need or distress calls him. There are no intermediaries such as clergy to contact God who states we are nearer to him than his jugular vein. Allah is the term with no plural or gender used by Muslims and Arabic speaking Christians and Jews to reference God while Allah is the term used for a deity or a God in general. Other non-Arab Muslims might use different names such as Allah for instance Tanri in Turkish or Koda in Persian. So very similar to the Christian God. Uh, Islam and Christianity seem to have a lot of similarities. Uh, both have one man who is the main uh, messenger of God. They both believe in a God, a singular God, um, a singular Allah, uh, the creator of everything. Uh, Islam, uh, belief of angels is fundamental in the faith of Islam. Same thing with Christianity. The Arabic word for angel means messenger, like its counterparts in Hebrew and Greek. Um, according to the Quran, angels do not possess free will and worship God in total obedience. Angels' duties include communicating revelations from God glorifying God, recording every person's actions, and taking a person's soul at the time of death. They are also thought to intercede on man's behalf. The Quran describes angels as messengers with wings, two or three or four pairs. He, God, adds to creation as he pleases. Um, the Islamic holy books are the records which, which most Muslims believe were dictated by God to various prophets. Muslims believe that parts of the previously revealed scriptures, the Torah, the Torah, and the Injil, the Gospels, had become distorted either in interpretation or in text or both. The Quran, uh, literally, which means reading or the resuscitation is viewed by Muslims as the final revelation in the literal world of God and is uh, widely regarded as the finest piece of literature work in the Arabic language. Muslims believe that the verses of the Quran were revealed to Muhammad by God through the archangel Gabriel on many occasions between 1610 CE until his death on June 8th, 632 CE. While Muhammad was alive, all these revelations were written down by his companions, although the prime method of transmission was orally through memorization. 
After the death of Muhammad, it was compiled in the time of Abu Bakr, the first caliph, and was standardized under the administration of Uthman, the third caliph. So it was all memorized, actually, so nobody wrote it down. It was compiled in Abu Bakr's time, and then he's, um, I guess he become the caliphate uh, when 632, so I guess when Muhammad died. So, I guess it was only a year. Jesus, though, nobody wrote about Jesus till 40 years after he had died. So, I guess there's more uh, plausibility of the Quran than there is the Bible. So, uh, after the, okay, uh, the Quran is divided into 114 sutras or chapters, which combined contains 6,236 uh, 6, verses. Um... Prophets. Muslims identify the prophets of Islam as those humans chosen by God to be his messengers according to the Quran. The descendants of Abraham and Imran were chosen by God to bring the will of God to the peoples of the nations. Muslims believe that prophets are human and not divine, though some are able to perform miracles to prove their claim. Islamic theology says that of all God's messengers preach the message of Islam, submission to the will of God. Uh, the Quran mentions the names of numerous figures considered prophets in Islam, which include Adam and Noah and Abraham and Moses and Jesus, among others, which, you know, I know about Adam, Adam and Eve's first man, right? Then Noah was in the flood. Abraham, he had the, he had the, I guess the, didn't he have the robe? <laughs> I don't really know Abraham, I guess. He, he was a father, had a bunch of kids, I think. Raphael, I, don't know, I thought he had like a coat with a bunch of colors. Moses uh, led the slaves uh, out of Egypt. And Jesus, uh, you know, the central figure in Christianity. Muslims believe that God finally sent Muhammad, uh, seal the prophets, to convey the divine message to the whole world, to sum up and finalize the word of God. In Islam, the normative example of Muhammad's life is called the Sunnah, which is literally the trodden path. This example is preserved in traditions known as the Hidath, uh, the reports which recount his words, his actions, and his personal characteristics. Hidath, Qudsi, is a subcategory of Hidath. Um, there's five pillars of Islam. These are five, I guess, kind of like the sacraments in uh, Catholicism. There's five sacraments uh, that Catholics have to do in order to be considered Catholic. Baptism, confirmation, marriage, um, uh, communion, first communion, and something else when you die. So, something else at the, when you die. So they both have five things, you know. So the, the pillars of Islam is like the sacraments of Catholicism, kind of, I mean. Um, the five pillars of Islam, they are the creed, the daily prayers, the almsgiving, the fasting during Ramadan, and the pilgrimage to Mecca at least once in a lifetime. So Ramadan is right now, and it goes on for like a month, so, and everybody's happy during Ramadan, so it's a, it's a holy celebration uh, when, when they fast and they cleanse themselves through fasting. They don't eat anything throughout the day, and then they engorge at night <laughs> right so the five um, the five pillars of Islam you got the testimony the creed uh, the shahada which is the basic creed of Islam that must be recited under oath with the specific statement uh, sadu Allah illaha illa illahu wa ashadu on a Muhammadan Rusulullah. Or, I testify that there are no deities other than God alone. I testify that Muhammad is the messenger of God. So, just like Christianity's prayers, it's, uh, you know, the one of the commandments is there is no other God but God. And then, uh, Jesus is, you know, the messenger of God. So, Muhammad is, according to Islam. The testament is a foundation for all other beliefs and practices in Islam. Muslims must repeat the Shahada. Shahada and prayer and non-Muslims wishing to convert to Islam are required to recite the creed. 
So prayer. I guess I'll do this uh, some more later.